we're in eastern Kentucky. This is the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains. The town we're in is Ravenna, which used to be the hub where they brought all the coal in. You see all these rail cars parked. We call them coal gons here in Kentucky. There are a couple thousand of them and they haven't moved in the last 10 years because of the downturn of the coal industry. This project will help uh, help the future of the area and creating power and just help the economy. What was here originally was a lock chamber. The boats used to bring coal down river to market from up in the mountains. This was abandoned in 1992. We uh, got permission to put our hydroelectric plant in the abandoned lock chamber. That allowed us to dramatically reduce the cost of building it. Hydroelectric is different than a lot of other energy sources in the fact that all the cost is up front. We needed to find a partner, a financial partner, that had a long-term perspective. In our case, Berea College was the perfect partner. This project is good in so many ways. We serve students from all the counties of Kentucky, including Estill County, where this uh, dam is located, and Jackson County, where, where the electricity goes. And just the fact that we're generating the equivalent of half the power we use on campus without burning a lick of coal is the biggest plus in all of this. They have a commitment not only to the environment and sustainability, but also to Eastern Kentucky. And because they're taking low income, smart kids from Eastern Kentucky and giving them free educations, and then sending them back to their communities to make a better community, a better world. Xylem has been our partner all along. We went to Berea and said, hey, we've got a solution I think you're gonna really like. They sent their president and some of their top people to Sweden, and they actually toured the flight headquarters. We needed something that was at the right scale, and there are very few manufacturers who are serving this market, but it's a very important one because small-scale hydro is going to be one of the futures of sustainable electric production. This is a company building hundreds of thousands of pumps every year, and this is just a modification of, a, of one of their standard pumps. So that gave them a lot of confidence in Xylem and the flight uh, hydro turbines. The Kentucky River is known to flood, and in fact, during the construction itself, we had two major floods, uh, one of which, the most recent, is probably an 80-year flood. So we said we need to find something better that can deal with this. And the solution were the flight submersible turbine generators. That's the solution. They're underwater all of the time. So we don't have to worry about the generator being inundated with floods. Having a submersible design and having our experience with the product in the past and all of the work that we do, in terms of uh, pump station design and things of that nature, we were able to provide a, a really good solution. Using the um, xylem units inside the lock structure, I mean, the lock was 52 feet wide, which doesn't give you a lot of room, but because of the diameter of the xylem units, we were able to fit multiple ones of those in that 52 foot width. And then construction was really simplified and also design was simplified. All during construction, we were able to use our Godwin dewatering pumps to uh, dewater the facility and to keep the water out while they are able to pour the concrete and the support structure for the hydro turbine pumps. What I really like about this project is that it speaks to Xylem's core values of solving water and creating electrical power through a natural resource of the river. This is a really repeatable process where on the Kentucky River, there's at least 14 lock structures on this river itself. So now that we have a design at lock 12, it's really simple to take that design, go to another lock structure, either upstream or downstream of lock 12, and kind of rinse and repeat with minimal re-engineering necessary. I'm really proud to be a part of this team at Xylem and generating the power here at the uh, lock 12 hydro turbine plant and the support that our local branch brought here and able to get this job completed.
We plan and hope to do this on at least four more of the locks on the upper Kentucky River. That brings hope to the area. This is new, new kind of use of the natural resources. The true beneficiary of this project will be Berea College and their students. Making good, clean, and inexpensive power that we can, we can sell to the local rural electric cooperative at a discount so their members are all saving money. At the same time, we're benefiting Berea College and their students.